When I first received these X gear pedals from IK Multimedia, I plugged them into my amp and this is what I heard. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. IK Multimedia recently sent me these two pedals from their X gear range. This is X Space and X Drive. And talking about driving, now's probably a good time to drive home to you that they are not paying me for this video. They had no input whatsoever, and this is all my own opinion. Now, as soon as I got these out of the box and tried them, I realized there's a lot more to them than regular guitar pedals. They're kind of guitar pedals for the 21st century, if you like. Now, I do have a small confession to make about the demo you heard at the beginning but we'll get on to that later because it kind of ties in with what's special about these pedals. Let's start off by taking a look at X-Space. X-Space is a reverb pedal and like all X-Gear pedals has this tough metal case with sturdy foot switches and controls. Alongside stereo inputs and outputs, the rear reveals there's a lot more to this pedal with connections for MIDI, an external controller and USB. Next to what is a really clear display, the top knobs give us direct control over much of our sound with deeper dives via the parameter control. Once you've dialed in that perfect sound, you can save it. They allow you to save up to 300 presets with 50 factory presets to get you started. At its core, X-Space has 16 different types of reverb, including the more standard ones like these. <laughs> and some more exotic ones like these. Now, so far you've been listening to these demos through my amp, but actually these pedals come with cabinet simulations on board. That makes a massive difference to the sound. So let's have a listen to them, but this time directly through my audio interface. <laughs> Just like X-Space, X-Drive, a distortion pedal, has a similar case and controls. Alongside our regular input and output, we also see a dedicated cab sim out, as well as a headphone out. Again, we have connections for MIDI, an external controller, and USB. Again, we can save up to 300 presets, and we have 50 factory presets. These are all derived from 16 different types of distortion, overdrive, and fuzz, including these. <laughs> Thank you. 
And just like X Space, we have some cabinet simulations. <laughs> Okay, so far, colour me impressed. And if amongst all of those lovely knobs and buttons on this pedal, there was a like button, I'd be sure to press it. You know what I mean, right? Now the clue to the fact that these are 21st century pedals is in the fact that they have USB connections on the back. Not only does that mean that when you connect it up to your computer you can use it as an audio interface, but it enables some other really cool things as well. And that's because all X gear pedals come with this. This is Amplitude 5 SE. It's actually my favorite guitar amp sim. And it is the SE version, not the free version. This one normally costs you $149, but they do give it to you for free with with these X gear pedals. Now where it gets really interesting is when we delve into the pedal section here. I'll click here, there's a collection, some different collections here. So I'll go down to X gear series, click on that, and you can see that we actually get a virtual version of our physical pedal. So I'm gonna be using X space to demonstrate here. I'll just grab it and drag it across over to the signal chain over here. And it appears here, now it's got a slightly different layout to the physical pedal, but it's actually got all of the same functionality in terms of sound. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do here is sort of adjust this preset to make it my own. So I'll make some adjustments here. Yeah, of course I'd normally be listening to this. And we've got a couple of pages of adjustments here. Now I can go ahead and save this of course with my my own preset name. So I'll go up here, click on this one here, go up to save as, and this file dialog, dialog appears, and I'm gonna call it Mike Rev, okay? So I'll save that, and then that is saved. Now, of course, I can recall that preset now whenever I'm using Amplitude. But what's better than that is I can actually transfer this preset across to my physical pedal. Now, I do that by using a piece of software called Xgear Library, which we can see here. Now, this, of course, comes free with the pedals. Now, on the left-hand side, we can see the presets which are actually on our computer and will appear in our virtual pedal. On the right right hand side we can see the presets which are currently on our physical pedal and you can see I've got that pedal connected up here so I'm going to go to the left hand side and just refresh this view because I've just uh, created that preset and you can see it's appeared there it's called Mike Rev all I need to do is grab this and drag it over and drop it there confirm here and then that preset is now on my physical pedal really really easy really straightforward and you can create presets at your convenience using Amplitude and then as I say just transfer them with ease over to your physical pedal. Awesome. The MIDI in connection means that we can connect up another MIDI controller to take control of these pedals. With the MIDI out connection messages are sent every time we twiddle a knob or press a button on the pedals. That's awesome. Now we've also got that external controller for a foot switch or an expression pedal. We can use those to control specific parameters on these pedals. That's just a mind boggling level of control. Look, to be honest with you, these are not budget pedals, but I do think when you consider the depth of features, the build quality and the sound, they do represent really good value for money. I don't think you'll be disappointed. That's why I think you should check the links in the description down below for some great places to buy. Now for that confession. So when I first tried the X Space pedal, I really loved it, but of course I was listening to it in mono because I've only got one guitar amp and I really wanted to hear it in stereo. So I actually recorded my guitar dry on my computer and then used a process called reamping. So what I did is I took the signal of that dry guitar out from my computer, plugged it into the X space pedal and then out to my guitar amp for recording. Now, how did I achieve the stereo effect? Well, I actually took the second output from the pedal and went back to my computer and ran it through Amplitude as a guitar sim. That's how I got that stereo sound. If you go back to the beginning and listen again, you'll definitely hear it's in stereo. Stereo. So that's something you can actually do yourself because of course you get Amplitude with these pedals. If you don't know how to go about reamping, then you definitely want to be checking out this video here where I walk you through it. <laughs> 